What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now I am aware I said this in my last video, but I promise we will be returning to other topics at Marvel Studios outside of Robert Downey Jr. Doctor Doom. But in the meantime, you guys may recall that before we got this official announcement at San Diego Comic-Con weeks before, in fact, industry insider Jeff Snyder, someone we've been confidently re-reporting on for over a year now and on the Hot Mike podcast, indicated one of his sources had scooped this to him and actually broke it as news again weeks before the official announcement and as I've remarked several times now here at the channel in the last couple of weeks I thought it was so absurd I didn't even report on it but that same source has now weighed in with some details including where we can expect to see Robert Downey Jr's Doctor Doom first show up and it is not as far off as you think we're breaking it all down these latest details revealed by the same industry insider source that revealed the news in the first place but first if you could grab the subscribe button we do daily marvel content at the channel and that's all we do everything from official easter egg breakdowns trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between so if that sort of thing's for you hit the sub button leave a comment down below also my band all fires is playing our very first show in atlanta georgia on september 1st so if you live in the area or you plan on being in town for one of the million things going on that weekend like Dragon Con. Tickets are cheap, only 15 bucks, but limited. So we would love to see you guys at the show. I'll leave a link down in the description and in the comments. And if you do come by, make sure to stick around after the set and say hi, I'll definitely be hanging out. Okay, so in case you missed the update and because we specifically didn't cover it here at the channel, industry insider Jeff Snyder, again on the Hot Mic podcast, originally broke the news about Dr. Doom being Tony Stark and Robert Downey Jr. returning to the MCU to play that character. Now, he has returned with more details from that exact same source. So, when I normally tell you guys to take this stuff with a grain of salt, as soon as a source proves themselves with this kind of track record and this kind of announcement, we're obviously going to put a lot more reverence into things they say. That's where we find ourselves today. And this is the latest updates about where we're going to see Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom first. Apparently, the source that tipped Jeff off actually added extra details that make more sense now. The original scoop read, quote, Robert Downey Jr. is coming back to the MCU as an alternate multiverse Tony Stark, who is actually Doctor Doom, lucrative payday, etc., and will be first appearing in an end credit kicker. So, the Tony Stark alternate thing, we've already talked about that in four or five videos at the channel. To me, there's an equal chance that they may be just doing prosthetics with face scars, keeping him under the mask, and maybe trying to play it like we don't even know that he's the same actor. We'll have to wait and see how this all falls out. But according to this tipster, who again had this news early, it's actually going to be a Tony Stark variant. Put an asterisk by that. We'll wait and see or for future industry insiders to try to corroborate this. But the key part of this is we'll be appearing first in an end credit kicker in Joy. We know for sure that end credit kicker is the Fantastic Four. And the reason that we know this is actually a direct quote by the director, where when he was asked to react to this news about Tony Stark and Robert Downey Jr. coming back, he actually admitted that he had known for quite some time and was super excited about it, but had to keep it a secret. The only reason that the director on the Fantastic Four, Matt Shackman, would know that Robert Downey Jr. was returning as Doctor Doom would be because he was in his film. Marvel Studios doesn't share unnecessary details outside of projects. Shoot, they don't even share necessary details inside of projects to the actors that are shooting on them all the time. Specifically for huge movies like Avengers Endgame and Infinity War, no one really even had the full script. It's going to be that way for these upcoming films. And trust, Marvel Studios would have wanted to keep the news that Robert Downey Jr. was coming back as Doctor Doom as locked down as tight as possible as they try to combat leaks. So that being said, the fact that Max Shackman admitted that he knew for quite some time and had to keep it a secret means that most likely that casting revolved around first showing up in the Fantastic Four. So we now suspect we're going to see Robert Downey Jr.'s either Tony Stark variant of Doctor Doom or Victor Von Doom again in the post credit scene for Fantastic Four. Now there is a weird Galactus rumor going around and we will again maybe leave this in rumor mill territory at least for now. But some people are saying that this variant of Galactus we're going to see in the Fantastic Four that's unique to their timeline isn't a variant at all. In fact, we're going to find out that Galactus is unique to their specific timeline in the multiverse. The same way that America Chavez has no variants, Galactus won't have any variants either. Which is sort of interesting only because when you think about it, we've already seen Galactus in one of the previous Fantastic Four films. The same Fantastic Four films that were just canonized by Deadpool and Wolverine is all being adjacent to the MCU, all 
different timelines. So if a Galactus appeared somewhere else, it would be weird for them to now say, no, 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 Galactus is unique. He's only in this one specific timeline. But we'll leave that in rumor mill territory, like I said, for now. The big news is that Robert Downey Jr. is going to be appearing in a post credit scene and that the director on the Fantastic Four happened to know that he was going to be appearing as Dr. Doom for quite some time. When you add two and two together, you definitely get four here. And so, while it does certainly add an extra layer of intrigue as to whether or not the rogues gallery of villains in the Fantastic Four film will include some Doctor Doom as well, just showing up at a post credit scene at the end of Fantastic Four, knowing that there aren't many other major projects, if any, for Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom to show up between then and Doomsday, means that the Rousseaus truly, truly have their work cut out for them because when they go into Doomsday, he will have had even less screen time than Thanos had with the short clip obviously in Guardians of the Galaxy's first film alongside the post credit scene appearances. At least he had some dialogue, at least we had seen him on screen. If Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom only shows up at a post credit scene for Fantastic Four, man, they are going to have to do so much building in Doomsday for that character. Guys, let me know all your thoughts though down below how hype you are for the Fantastic Four, if this only adds to it, and do you agree they have a lot of work to do, a lot of ground to cover for Doctor Doom if he's only going to be a part of these next two Avengers films? I'm all ears as always. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, so we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel, and we're just going to continue to do that until either the PlayStation 5 Pro comes out or the PlayStation 6, then we'll give those away. In the meantime, we just announced a brand new winner for Deadpool and Wolverine a couple of videos back, and we'll be giving another one away when Agatha All Along drops in just a month or two. So, if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on and as always if you like today's video I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman you can find me in a couple of places Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on all platforms Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, Apple Music wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking my music out Thanks for checking this channel out, and again, we will be live for the very first time in Atlanta on September 1st. If you're in the area, would love to see you at the show, and again, if you come, make sure to hang out afterwards. I'm going to try to meet everybody and say hi. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.